Well, look, the reason I'm stopping today, Mr. Alexander, is you're going a little fast. Window tent's a little too dark, okay? The speed limit's 45. I'm doing 45, and you came by me, all right? You were obviously faster than me, about 10 miles over to be in fact. So, also, your window tent's too dark. Where are you headed to today? I'm tent to. Uh, this dude's just nervous as can be. I'm going to pull him up, talk to him. Welcome back to the Civil Rights Lawyer channel. I think you're really gonna like this video. It shows a traffic stop in Richland, Mississippi. And this is similar to the one I posted two weeks ago in Texas, where the narcotics officer had apparently gotten some sort of training on target indicators and he could figure out who was some big drug smuggler. But in reality, he's just harassing law-abiding citizens. I think that's what you'll see here. But take a look at the footage, and then we'll talk about the constitutional law and the facts of this case. My concern is that you are about to suck all the oxygen out of the air right now because you're breathing so heavy. All right, you're, you're so nervous. So why why would you be why would you be extremely or overly nervous with me for a simple traffic stop? Okay. Have you ever been arrested before or anything like that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you mind if I ask before? You can't get in trouble for telling I me. I'm scared. Remember. Uh, I I mean, I had DUI 20 years ago. DUI 20 years ago. Probably okay. about it. Okay. All right. Uh, when's the last time you were arrested? Do you remember that? Uh, no, it's been probably 20 years. 20 years? Probably okay. about Anything 1999. Anything narcotics related at all? No. Or do you uh, wear glasses or contacts? Uh, contacts. Okay. All right. Are those colored contacts or are your eyes always that kind of grayish, glassy, a little bit green. glassy? green uh, eyes or whatever. Green eyes? Okay. Are you under the influence of any narcotics or alcohol today? No, sir. Okay. <laughs> you're asking me why I'm nervous. That's because I was kind of upset. You're asking me where I'm going and where I live, and I don't think that I'm allowed. I don't have to answer that. You absolutely don't. It's just casual conversation. So, okay. do you have anything illegal in the car today? Sure not. I don't have nothing illegal. Okay, so no, there's nothing illegal. Would you mind if I look? No, you may not look. You may not look. Unless you have a search warrant. I don't, but okay. I'm, I'm simply asking. I mean, your, your pupils are I mean, are I can open up the trunk, I can open the doors up, but I, I don't want you to go in and look through my car. Okay. Because it's, I don't feel like I have to. And, and you absolutely don't. I'm, I'm simply, see, in my line of work, what I do is I love doing this, okay? I, I love working in narcotics. And you're giving off a lot of precursors that could potentially lead up to narcotics. I'm not saying that you I mean, do, and I'm not fine. saying that you, you don't. Bring the dog if you don't, whatever, if you don't have anything. No, I don't have any narcotics. I don't I, do and I didn't say I mean, that you did. you're foaming at the mouth. You're asking me why I'm nervous. I mean, what's the next step? Are, are, I'm just am I going to get a ticket for uh, speeding or what? That's to be determined. I haven't made okay. up my mind yet. How, how do I look like I have narcotics? Because I didn't say you look like girlfriend? you had narcotics. I said you were just playing indicators. What, what, what are you saying? I have pupils i'm nervous i mean i'm i was upset because you're asking me where i'm going that was just casual conversation so here's the That's deal look i'm not going to sit here and argue i'm not I'm, I'm not i'm not going to argue with you okay i'm simply asking what do you, you, what a you few like questions. me to do do you want me to open the trunk do you want me to i just ask if you mind if i look you don't have to you can tell me no all day long it, but can, they're saying i have uh, suspicion of narcotics or something it? i mean you're welcome to look there's absolutely nothing in here okay absolutely so nothing would you mind if i look in the car I give you uh, the permission to view what's in my car, but, but okay, under here, no here's circumstances the, here's the are you allowed to just search my car without a search warrant? I mean, that's, there's a few different ridiculous. ways that I can probable cause. Okay, which I'm just asking you for what's verbal the consent. Probable cause? Can you please explain to him what the probable I didn't, cause was? I didn't was? say there was. I you just asked you. If I could you look. said I had. Well, you're just getting of defensive with me for asking common questions. All right, I'm just doing my job. I'm okay. doing what's called a patrol investigation. Okay. okay. Is this your wife, girlfriend, this friend? This is my fiance, my girlfriend. Okay. Okay. For five years. Okay. Well, congratulations. I'm I just asking to. you several questions. Ma'am, would you be willing to step out and speak with me out here? Please? Possibly less of aggressive as he is. That would be lovely. Okay. So my name's Sergeant Holyfield with the Richmond Police Department. The reason y'all. You remember me? Dollar General. Dollar General? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't remember you. Uh, have I, we I, ever had a I negative have, interaction before? I just had to call you out for the time over there. I missed you. Okay, so when you called, did I show up and help you as best that you thought I probably could? Yeah. Okay, all right. Do you have any indication of me ever being rude, ugly, uh, too assertive, aggressive? Not to me. Uh, okay, Not all right. To me. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, so thank you. I appreciate that. I'm asking simple questions. Hey, how you doing? How you mom and them? Where you coming from? Where you headed to? All right, I'm not doing this to 
pry into your life, to have any sort of privatized information of what you're doing. I don't care what y'all are doing, okay? But I have a goal in mind, okay? How long have you known him? We've been together six years. Okay. Has he been arrested arrested in the six years that y'all have been together? No. No, never in trouble or anything like that? He lives in Madison. Has he lived up there the whole time? Yeah. Has he ever been known to you to use uh, uh uh, abuse prescription medications, smoke marijuana, oh. any any heroin's, meths, anything like that. Yeah. Okay, and say so that that's all I'm looking for, just casual conversation. All right, there there are indicators leading me up to this question. Well, we got to the we got pulled up twice. They asked him why he's with a medical. Uh, that's irrelevant. Yeah, so we like, why are you pulling us uh, over? Yeah. What's, what's the reason for you to pull us over? Different so, people, and that, that might be why he is. Well, so I, I want to remind you of this, all right? The window tent is darker than the legal limit. It's 28, per, er, the legal limit is 28%. That's along the lines of 5%, okay? There's no way possible that from where I was, I knew he was with a black woman. I didn't even know he was a white guy. So that's irrelevant to me. They don't have the right to search my car. You got defensive with me for doing my job, okay? I, stop, don't interrupt me again, please. I don't have any smells. Uh, the only thing I have are behavioral indicators at this point. And his wife, fiance, I actually remember her. Or well, I don't really, but uh, she says that we have contact, been in contact with each other, uh, Dollar General. So she's all right with me. She's okay with me. She likes me. But he does not. Well, yeah, I know. But, I mean, there, I know timeline-wise, you know, constitutionality, how long are we going to be able, what's a reasonable amount of time, which I think... I think we don't have a dog available. No, I saw it. I got a guy stopped, and he's, uh, I don't know. I got a warm and fuzzy on it, brother, but he uh, he, uh, he shut down on me and uh, got defensive. And I don't have any, like, physical indicators, but, dude, his behavioral indicators are just skyrocketed. And uh, it, I think there's something here. He's just shutting me down. I don't have enough. I don't think I have enough right now to go any further with it than I can, so I was looking for a dog. He says I'm a dickhead or I'm an asshole or whatever. He says I'm whatever. But uh, he's done with you. Yeah. All because I started asking him common, like, investigative questions. Like, hey, man, you know, where you come from? Where, where you headed to? And uh, uh, he's just like, I don't have to tell you that shit. I was like, I'm, man, I'm just asking you some questions, fella. Issue me two citations today, one for speed and 10 over and one for window tent. Give you court date of March 29th. You have on that date or up to it to pay for citations. Uh, they will gladly rearrange or make a payment plan if you'd rather do that. If you no call, no show, a warrant will be issued for your arrest and we'll just come pick you up, okay? Thank you. Oh boy. So where do I begin with this one? I mean, these scenarios just drive me up the wall. So the officer sort of understands what the law is here. He's, he's a know-it-all type. He thinks he knows everything, but he doesn't. He doesn't know a damn thing. Yeah, he can hold somebody at a traffic stop for a reasonable amount of time. So he pulled the guy over for speeding. He has a reasonable amount of time to go through the process of getting his documentation and running his license plate and writing him a ticket for speeding. And instead of doing that, he's like that guy in Texas who thinks he's smarter than he really is. And he thinks that this could be some big drug guy, some big drug smuggler. And he is going to solve the case because he's just so smart. He pulls him over for speeding and 30 minutes is going by and he hasn't done a damn thing related to the tasks of giving somebody a speeding ticket, a routine traffic stop. He is treating this like a drug investigation. While admittedly, he has no reasonable suspicion. He keeps using the phrase probable cause. What he needs is reasonable suspicion that this guy could be smuggling drugs, that he could have narcotics in his car, that he could be intoxicated on narcotics. He has none of that. He's just trying to develop it out of thin air. Meanwhile, he is not doing any of the tasks normally associated with a traffic stop for speeding. And that's exactly what the U.S. Supreme Court has said that he's allowed to do. And he's given a reasonable amount of time to do those things. Usually, can somebody be ordered out of a car during a traffic stop? Yes, if there's some articulable officer safety reason for doing so. Unlike what a lot of police officers think, it's not just an automatic thing. If there's some reason related to officer safety to ask him out of the car, then he can't. Same thing with the passenger. But he can't just 
order them out of the car and and go on a fishing expedition to see if maybe his hunch could be correct that this guy could be some sort of a drug smuggler. And you know what? If you look at the part where he pulls the guy's fiance out of the car and he starts questioning her, I think she's exactly right. She says that they had been pulled over in a neighboring jurisdiction, they believed, because he's, he's a white man with a black woman. And I think that although this officer couldn't see that when he pulled them over, when he gets up to the window, he can see the, uh, who's in the passenger side. And I think that is his hunch. I, I, I really do. I think that's what it is. He doesn't see somebody's five-year or six-year fiance. He sees some sort of drug activity or, or something else going on here. That is his hunch that he will not admit. And that's why he pulls her out of the car separately and he starts to question her. Of course, police officers that engage in that sort of um, racial profiling and discrimination, they know they're at least smart enough not to admit that. The questions being asked. Generally, if you're pulling somebody over for a traffic stop, you can ask some limited questions about where you're going, um, where you're coming from, things of that nature. But in, if unless there's some indication that narcotics could be involved, that does not mean that they get to then interrogate the individual about whether they're a drug dealer. So just like the video from two weeks ago, the game that they're playing is just perform a, a regular traffic stop under the, under the pretext that they're actually going to conduct a drug investigation. And then they stall for this, this drug dog scam to show up and pretend like the dog knows that there's drugs in the car. And uh, But they can't do that here because there's no drug dog available. Because he does not have probable cause to search this guy's car, he keeps asking him for consent to search his car. What do you need for consent? You need voluntary consent. And here, this guy does not give voluntary consent. And the officer keeps saying, yeah, but you have the right to say no. But then he also is attempting to coerce the guy into believing that he has no choice but to say yes. And at one point, he even says, well, I don't know if I'm going to give you a speeding ticket yet. I haven't determined yet. You know, it depends on your behavior. If you let me search your car, you let me do all these things I say you have a right to say no to then I may not give you a traffic stop. So it's coercion. This guy uh, even offers to show him inside the trunk of his car, inside the car, but no, he wants to be able to perform a search with no boundaries. And he had no right to do that. And he had no consent to do that. So at the end of the day, this guy did assert his rights. He acted properly. And he was very reasonable in getting angry with this police officer. As always, thanks for watching. If you like going over these sorts of videos and discussing constitutional rights, arguing about the facts, whatever, please subscribe, both here and at the blog at thecivilrightslawyer.com. Remember, freedom is scary. Deal with it.